The number of rods is the first lesson that we give children in the math curriculum. The importance of this lesson is it's the first one that really allows your child to physically feel that one is small and 10 is big. They understand this concept because the one rod is small and the 10 rod is big. And when you see a three-year-old carrying a 10 rod that is just about as big as they are, they truly understand the concept that 10 is much bigger than one. This is a lesson that does require the Montessori material. The reason why we're presenting this lesson to you for you to show your child is because it's one of the lessons that truly gives the concept of why the Montessori curriculum is so effective when it comes to math, especially with the number rods. Because this lesson also has a corresponding lesson in the sensorial area, where the red rods in the sensorial area are identical to the red and blue rods in the math curriculum. This is the lesson on the number rods. Remember your workspace. For your child using a rug, even though we're on a rug, it gives your child that sense of order, that they know where their materials should be, and it also helps them to understand that that's their work area and it needs to be put away when the lesson's finished. This is one. This is two. This is three. This is one. This is two. Will you show me one? And then your child will point to the one. Will you show me two? and then your child will point to the two. This is two. This is three. Will you show me two? Will you show me three? What is this? Then they'll say one. What is this? What is this? The idea between saying show me and what is, is it allows them to really understand this is one, this is two. Now, if when you say show me two and they do this, you don't have to say nope, you just redo the lesson. This is one, this is two, show me two. Then they'll know, oh, this is two, and they still have confidence. So they don't feel that they failed, it just gives them another opportunity to succeed. Then when they understand this is one, this is two, then you say, what is this? Now they're able to give you the language instead of you saying, where is three? This would be the first lesson. Once they really get the concept of one, two, and three, you can move on. You can move on to now, this is four. This is five. And you can even show them with your hand. One, two, three, four, five. This is five. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. This is six. Then you would continue on with this three period lesson so they really feel the success of understanding what four, five, and six is. Another thing that you're able to do also, this is one. If they're having a little bit of trouble understanding the concept of two and three, or four, five, and six, so on. Use the one. This is one, two. This is one, two, three. So they understand that all you're doing is making the one bigger. 
The next lesson we'll show you is how to introduce the numeral to the quantity. This is the lesson associating quantity to the number. Now, you can see that the first lesson is really going to give your child the concept that one is small. And then when your little babies are picking up this big 10 rod, they really physically get that 10 is big. Now, we're going to be associating abstract. Because really, this isn't one. It's just the symbol for one. So the importance of this lesson is they really hardwire in their brain the concept of numbers. Whereas before, this was just almost memorization. You just had to memorize the symbol of one. It wasn't one. This is how you teach the association. This is one. This says one. This is two. This says to. This is three. This says three. And then you can go right into another three period lesson. If you feel like your child is not understanding, this says two, this says three. Can you show me three? Then they'll have the aha moment and they'll point to the three. You'll carry on with this lesson until you will have a numeral with each quantity. This is six. This says six. This is 10. This says 10. And you'll be surprised how many times your child will take this work out. There's so many different lessons that we will show you later on once your child is familiar with the numbers 1 through 10, how you can even use this material to teach basic adding. With your child, the first time you bring out this material, you might only get as far as the three rod. And that's OK. You want to make this material and all the materials with all of these lessons interesting and exciting because what we're trying to help you teach your child is to foster that sense of curiosity and that love for learning. And if they're bored with the lesson, they're not going to want to go back to it. So use this lesson with your child only until their attention span wanes. When it does, that's okay. Let's clean up our work. We can do this again another day because this lesson is a long one, if you didn't notice. So do it only as long as you have your child's interest. Many times in the classroom, we go back to this lesson over and over and over again because the rods may not be used properly or they might forget how to lay them out, and that's okay. That's when we swoop in and we use the words, may I show you something? And we'll come in and we'll show them how to lay out their work again and how to use these materials so gently because a lot of what we teach the children in the classroom is how special these materials are, how to carry them very gently, how to use them and keep them beautiful because these materials are theirs. This is their classroom and their opportunity to have respect for their materials.